Hello and welcome. We are with Mr. Kishore Rao, Managing Director, MathWorks India. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, I will quickly start off with my first question. How do you introduce MathWorks as a company? Yeah, okay. It's, first of all, it's great to be here. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, so MathWorks uh, is, uh, is formed in 1984. Uh, started in uh, headquarters are in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, the Indian entity MathWorks India started in 2008. Uh, and essentially, our, our products are used uh, over the last 35 years extensively by companies to uh, design, you know, advanced products. Whether it's in automotive systems, whether it's uh, aerospace, flight controls, uh, medical devices, uh, or industrial equipment. And the Mathos products are extensively used for the last uh, 35 years you know, to, to design uh, advanced products. Uh, primarily, we have two product families. Uh, one is called MATLAB which uh, is a very popular product. And uh, MATLAB is uh, used for algorithm design, uh, data analysis, visualization, and overall technical computing. And uh, Simulink is our uh, soft platform for, um, for, for graphical design to, uh, to develop uh, embedded systems, uh, develop dynamic systems, uh, multi-domain uh, dynamic systems. So these two products, uh, along with that, we have 100, 100 other add-on products that really extend the capability you know, for specialized tasks such as signal processing, image processing, uh, advanced driver assistance, wireless. Uh, so we cover a wire, wide gamut of industries and applications with these uh, products. Okay, so you're know, speaking of the industry, how do you think you'd evaluate the analytics landscape in India? So the analytics landscape uh, in India is actually uh, transforming and evolving quite rapidly. Uh, traditionally, uh, you would see analytics uh, being used uh, more for uh, business data and transactional data. Uh, and uh, that is, uh, people are, are now looking at, and there you're looking at leveraging the big data in terms of consumer behavior, in terms of transactional data, in terms of a lot of business data. Uh, the new trend in analytics is how do you combine uh, the business analytics with engineering analytics? And, 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 and that is, uh, really uh, the core at which a lot of companies are looking to improve their, their systems. When you say engineering data, you're looking at how do I uh, leverage more physical data, right. like sensor data, like images, like, like videos. Uh, how do I leverage that data to get better insight uh, into my products? Uh, not just better insight, but how do I predict uh, you know, what's going to happen you know, to, my, to my products? And once I know that, how do I prescribe you know, what is the best way to address the situation? So really, uh, on one end, analytics is going deeper, you know, from just analyzing into prediction and prescription. On the other end, it's really going wider in terms of uh, leveraging all kinds of data. And, and with, you know, with sensor analytics and IoT and really the, in all the devices around us, you know, which, are, which are getting smarter and smarter, there's just an explosion of data. And how do you today analyze uh, not just business data, but engineering data uh, and combine it to get a better insight? I think that's the big uh, trend we are seeing. Okay. So, you know, earlier you were speaking about uh, the products that MacBooks provides. Uh, could you specify some of the products that stand out or, uh, or you know, bring yeah. on, you put light on some of the yeah. products? So, so, there are two, two family of products we have. Uh, MacLab is for data analytics. Uh, and it allows you, as I mentioned, to do algorithm design, uh, to bring in uh, to, to bring in data, uh, you know, from all sources. You know, we support like a thousand devices, uh, from which you can yeah, you can you can bring in data. Uh, and this data could be could be you know image data, video data, all kinds of sensor data. You you bring that into into MATLAB, and then you use uh, you know a wide variety of statistical machine learning and uh, more and more deep learning techniques, you know, to, to, to develop insight into that into that data. And then you run analytics uh, based on that. Once you develop your algorithm, you run the analytics either on the cloud, on the enterprise systems, or on the embedded devices. So MATLAB really allows you to go end to end from bringing in the data, uh, developing the algorithms, and then deploying the algorithms on cloud, or on the IT systems, or on an embedded device allows you to, you, to, you to do the entire workflow uh, in one integrated environment. And, and MATLAB has been very popularly used for the last 35 years um, by engineers and, and scientists because at the core of MATLAB is maths. Right. You know, so it's, 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 it's basically a, a mathematical uh, computation tool. 
So it's very accurate, uh, it's very fast, and it has a lot of uh, additional tools that support uh, specialized tasks uh, in, this, in this software. Uh, not really a related question, but then a very important question always comes into the picture. Who are the competitions and how are you, uh, you know, planning to move ahead considering there's always stiff competition, there's always people coming in with newer products, with newer technologies. How are you uh, looking at moving forward? Yeah, so I think the competition is is, is there. It's, it's probably no single one one competition. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we address a, a, a large gamut of industries and applications. If I look at the data analytics space, there have been traditional tools which have been business tools in order to be used in data analytics. There are a lot of open source software uh, also in, in, in data analytics. Now MATLAB, uh, you know, really uh, it provides the, the best uh, in terms of accuracy, in terms of uh, integration with, with the rest of the enterprise, in terms of the, uh, the ease of use uh, for, a, for a new data scientist uh, to, to really use the tools. And that is an important point to touch on. Uh, we have, uh, you know, data science is still a new field. You know, there is a shortage of uh, data scientists. Uh, and engineers and scientists uh, in companies, you know, know their products the best. You know, they, they've been using, you know, they've been designing products, they've been simulating, you know, to optimize their products. Uh, what they lack is, what they could be lacking is knowledge on statistics and machine learning, which is where, and how do you leverage uh, your engineering data to do data analytics. Now, that's where I think MATLAB steps in, is, is we provide a, a lot of uh, applications or apps that make it easier for engineers and scientists to become data scientists. So we really say that, you know, be your data scientist. You know, when companies are looking for data scientists, you have a large pool of engineers and scientists that work in your organization. And with MATLAB, they can be your data scientist because MATLAB provides uh, support for uh, a lot of techniques in statistics, machine learning, and deep learning, but it also provides it in a way that, that, that you have apps that guide you through the whole process. You know, for example, you can use a particular regression model uh, technique uh, in, in MATLAB and see whether uh, whether it fits your, your data and, and quickly analyze that, that this works or it doesn't work or, it, or you choose a different technique. So, so you may not need to know in-depth knowledge of each technique, but MATLAB guides you through the whole process to build uh, a data analytics model. Well, you've already partly answered my next question, but I'd still like you to go in depth and uh, you know, explain to us, if I'm a data scientist and I want to start a uh, probably learn MATLAB. How do you think uh, you know, it, it, they would go about it and uh, what's the procedure yeah. and how easy is, is it now time consuming is it, you know, the yeah. entire dynamic? So that's, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, I think, you know, uh, MATLAB is uh, very popular right from academia. You know, so uh, it, it's heavily taught in engineering colleges and, and heavily used in industry. So it's not uncommon to find people come to the industry with some basic knowledge of MATLAB. And even students, when they are in colleges, you know, they, they get the chance to use use MATLAB. But that could use in during your college days could be sporadic, and over a period of time, you might have lost uh, that that knowledge. Uh, what we provide today is, is a MATLAB on ramp, which is a free to our uh, training uh, for anyone who wants to get started on MATLAB. And 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 that you don't need to have a license. Uh, all you need is a MathWorks account. And along with the two-hour training, we're actually provide the license for that for that period. So this we are seeing uh, this was launched uh, you know, a couple of years back, and is hugely popular. It's hugely popular among students, you know, who want to learn MATLAB quickly. It's also hugely popular with working professionals, you know, who feel that they need to use MATLAB for their projects, but they don't know, really know it well enough to be uh, to start working on it. Uh, so it's really used across academia and industry to really get up to speed. constructs are the way you have learned maths right so, so it's very intuitive for engineers and scientists uh, to really use the tools uh, and then once you once you start using uh, MATLAB for for data analysis and then you want to extend it to machine learning and, and uh, deep learning then I talked about all the apps that we have uh, that really guide you through the through the whole, whole process 
uh, and then we integrate completely with with, uh, with with other systems like the Hadoop and the Spark support uh, for for distributed distributed computing. Uh, we 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 integrate with a lot of visualization tools. So really, you can you can get started on MATLAB with on ramp. Uh, use the apps to guide through the process, and then and then really build your knowledge and and, and really start working on on real applications. The other point I'd like to make is, you know, if, if you're looking at an IoT um, you know, solution, then we also provide an, an IoT uh, framework called ThingSpeak. Now, with ThingSpeak and MATLAB, you can actually deploy and deploy an I, IoT solution, you know, all by just an engineer. You don't need a full infrastructure at your backend. So, if you go to the uh, go to MATLAB website and just type ThingSpeak, you know, you, you get to know about the IoT framework. If you go to the, uh, if you just go to Google. And say MATLAB on RAM, you know, you get to you get to see our free uh, MATLAB training on the RAM. So these are you know really ways that uh, a lot of students and a lot of working professionals are, are finding it easier uh, to get started and use MATLAB. Uh, you know, now that I uh, am a data scientist, I know how to use uh, MATLABs. I also have figured out the other free licenses and the other free trainings that I have. What will it take for me to get a job at MATLAB? <laughs> I think it's fairly, uh, fairly simple. Uh, you know, we are always looking for good people, um, and if you if you go to our career side at any point, you know, we we'll, we'll probably have a number of open positions. I think at this point in we might have like thirty six open positions on our career side uh, in 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 Matrix in India. Uh, what we do in India is, uh, you know, uh, we of course uh, are focused on on the domestic business. You know, we are working with customers in India. Uh, both commercial as well as academia to really drive the adoption and usage of our, of our tools. Uh, we also have uh, you know, uh, part of the worldwide development organization. We also have a development organization here uh, that that is working on our core, core platforms. Uh, so so you find you know, you go to a career site you find a number of positions and uh, to apply. That's great. Uh, well, that was really, really insightful, uh, Mr. Rao. And uh, I think we'd like to, with that, we'd like to end uh, this conversation. But thank you so much for all the time and all the insightful in industry information, as well as how to get a job at Tomatworks and about MATLAB. Uh, thanks. Could I just thank close out by just touching on one point that maybe I, I, yes, I yes, wanted yes. to? And uh, like I said, we are we are making enormous uh, progress on the data analytics side. You know, the last. Two years, you know, we have, we have significant added significant capabilities to our products, and I just wanted to uh, leave this uh, talk with the announcement that you know we are actually due for a big release in September, you know, which is 17B of uh, of, of MATLAB, and and the reason I wanted to bring it up is it's a, it's a big release for data analytics. Uh, we are we are adding again significant additional capabilities on machine learning, deep learning. Plus, we are we are uh, introducing a new application for text analytics. Now, these are areas that I'd like to leave your audience with. Uh, really, they can go to our website, and and I think there are some pre release on 17B that's already available. But really, very exciting uh, things are our additional capabilities are forthcoming in in, in the next uh, one month uh, on that platform. Okay. Uh, so you guys definitely know where to go and where to find all the free releases on 17B. Thank you so much for being with us.